Welcome back to Appalachian Football Magazine. Susan Barlow joins us. Susan, you had an opportunity this week to meet a former Mountaineer who's pretty successful. Yes, I did. Um, John Settle is probably the best and most famous running back to come through Appalachian. In 1988, John was the first NFL free agent to rush over 1,000 yards with the Atlanta Falcons, and he also was a participant in the Pro Bowl. But as you'll see, there's more to John Settle than football. John's football success came suddenly for a guy that just started playing in high school and didn't know much about the game, but his determination carried him to fame. When I went through high school, I was always told, well, you know, you're not going to go to college because you're too slow and you're too short and this, that, and the other. And then when I got to college, it was like, you're not going to go to the NFL because you're too short and you're too slow. So uh, I've always, um, it seems like, been faced with adversity. And uh, a lot of people that know me know that that's the way to get me fired up, to tell me I can't <laughs> do something, I can't accomplish it, and then I'll be out uh, to show you and to prove you wrong. Appalachian considered itself lucky when John Settle decided to play for the Mountaineers. Although John was recruited by many big-name universities on the East and West Coast, Appalachian became Settle's one and only choice, and to this day, John holds a special place for the school. When I went for my official visit, I was very impressed with the campus. I took my parents, and they were very impressed. But once I got there, it was just like, uh, that's where I was supposed to be all along, and I don't regret that until this day. Currently, John has taken a leave of absence from the NFL to rehabilitate an injured knee. His sights are still set on coming back next season to play, but if that fails, he'd jump at the chance to coach. But right now, he's enjoying his role as a father. During his year off, John has been able to spend valuable time with his three young children, Jonathan, Lathan, and his baby daughter, Devin. Uh, this is something that I'll uh, look back on and, and enjoy, uh, especially if I get into football next year, uh, whether it's coaching or playing or uh, something I, I, I want to do. It. I look back on this time and appreciate it, the time I'm, I'm having to spend with my children. Settle is willing to contribute to Appalachian in any way possible. John is helping out with the Mountaineer football radio broadcast. He wasn't sure of what to expect from being behind a microphone instead of on the field. His radio experience has brought a new outlook on the game. That, that's something that, uh, that's new to me, and uh, I didn't know at first uh, uh, how, how I would do or uh, what to expect. And, it probably the first couple of weeks I just sat down and listened to Brian and Steve talk the whole time and, and when Brian asked me a question I would probably I would say something but other than that I was like I was satisfied really you know you, you don't think about uh, the, the pressure uh, that's on you you just take that stuff for granted you, know, you, you think guys are born to do that but uh, when you're out there playing you know you just you know the plays are so second nature to you you can run any play in front of thousands of people and, it, and ne you never think about it but when I mean, you get there, and you're like, <laughs> now I have, I'm on the other side of things, and I have to come up with things to say, and it's not, you don't have a script or anything. It, it, it was tough the first couple of weeks. With a year away from football, John has found time to concentrate on several of his hobbies, especially playing the drum. Because to be kid, <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't get the uh, opportunity to sit down and play like I would, as I would like, but... Uh, Every now and again, when they're going to visit our grandparents, I get a chance to sit down and, and try to get my rhythm back and, and pound out a tune. John Settle is a devoted man. He cares enough to give his time to Appalachian, to the NFL, to his friends, and especially to his family. Many people look to John Settle for inspiration, just as he looks to his dad for the same thing. I looked at what I want to be when I, you know, 10 years from now, and I thought about my dad. You know, he, he was able to raise six kids, and he did whatever it took. He, uh, he worked wherever he had to work and did what he had, what he had to do to uh, make sure we didn't go without um, shoes or clothes or food or anything. So I, I have to say he's my inspiration. I look, look to him for spiritual guidance and for advice as a father. And um, if there's something there that I, I just hope to be able to raise a family and, and stick to some of the, the morals that he's taught me.
Susan, I know even though Appalachian has had a long line of running backs since John Settle, he still has his name in the record book quite often. Yes, he has 31 records with Appalachian, and he still holds 19 with the Southern Conference. So he's an extremely talented player. And a coach, I know you've had a chance to visit with John Settle. He's one of those guys you like carrying the Appalachian banner around. Oh, he's a great ambassador for college football and just a great ambassador for young people. You know, I didn't have the privilege of seeing John play football, but I've seen what he does off the field. And uh, so many times that carries so much more weight in the long run than what a guy does for us carrying a football. And he's just the epitome of everything that you want your college athletes to turn out to be. You probably wouldn't mind having him in the backfield right now. We'd use him Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if he has any eligibility left, right? When we come back on Appalachian Football Magazine, we're going to take a detailed look at the Western Carolina series. We'll do that for you when we come back after this time out. <laughs> 